Yeah, how about you introduce them, Kogan? Absolutely, happy to do so. So uh, in the top left corner of Revolver, we have their red products representing Peru. Goes to dark. And on the other side of the map, in the top right corner, as Blue Prados, representing Team Sweden, the best hammered in Paladin on Diablo 2 <laughs> servers remastered, or whatever they're called. Oh, yeah, Jake. Is that what he's playing? I saw some people in the chat asking, what's Oya playing? And then, oh, do you probably, know? Probably, probably a sorceress, right? Yeah, you need, you need to you need to play. He's Sorcerer. a Protoss player, man. What's the Protoss in? <laughs> yeah, he needs to be able to wiggle around the map quickly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Absolute face roll class. Um, wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure he has like all the characters at this point, man. Every time I look at my B net, I see, uh, I see Oya Act Five Hell. I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah. Making sure those ball rounds, you know, they don't make themselves. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Uh, anyhow, so we have Revolver, and interesting one, because now this is uh, horizontal. So yeah. uh, you could say, because of that, there are more attacking paths, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because the players can travel at the top line and immediately yeah. enter, you know, without a high ground. It's much easier to do than if he, you know, let's say they were... Uh, there we another go, two gates. I knew it. I was gonna say, man, there's no way he's not two gating again. But yeah. then you I feel like he, he, if I said that, he would have done something else for sure. Yeah. But I mean, he had good success both games. Yes. I would say. Yes. Um, ultimately, he came out of an advantage. Well, it's weird though, because I feel like the first game, like objectively, he got stuffed, but somehow, um, he still. I mean, I don't know if it's because he didn't miss any probes or what, but he still ended up again, uh, ahead against Ghost Dark. But I feel like after that first game, if I'm Oyaji, I'm like, okay, that didn't really work too much, too well. Uh, but it did, and like you said. And it, in the second game, it definitely worked really well. So hopefully, maybe Oyaji here is hoping for not cross spawns. Um, and he, I mean, he got his wish, but horizontal spawns? I mean, there's a lot, there's two chokes here that, uh, because the natural path for units to walk from top right that to top left. That is a late cybernetic core, by the way. He's yeah. making two zillas before, he's anticipating two gate already. Well, you he did it twice, now. you're gonna do it three times, and that's yeah. great for Ghost Dark because he will have, will he have three zillas? He will have two zillas for sure. Almost yeah. three zillas, I think. Yeah, I think he will have three zealots, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm interested to see, okay, he's only going to hold his top ramp here. He could have elected to hold the bottom ramp as well at the natural, but obviously that's a bit riskier. It's further away from your gateway, so you can totally understand Ghost of Dark's uh, positioning here. And three zealots like this with the probe, perfect. My god, Ghost of Dark, I, I, do, I love seeing this from players when they adapt to their opponent mid-series. He knew it was a possibility, delayed the, the core, and now he's going to be in a really good spot. Ooh, is that Pro going to die? Nice no. micro there from Ghost of Dark. Ghost of Dark, he's got a lot of gas. He just spent 150, I think. I think he's making Citadel again, or was Drench. Okay, so uh, this is going to be, again, rather standard. Yeah, not yeah. having a second gateway, so a bunch of guns. He's got a lot of gas, so probably also robotics. Maybe going for a big one base gun river timing before Nexus. Um, right now, I think this is actually something that works very well against 2Gate, because what 2Gate doesn't have is it doesn't have tech. That's basically yeah. where it bleeds most. You can catch up with Dragon Count, you can catch up with Economy, making you know, a quicker or slower Nexus, but you will never have a fast robotic facility with a lot of Reavers. So if Ghost of Dark goes for this, if he actually you know, makes a, some kind of a shallow Reaver timing, with a bunch of guns, this yeah. could be a big opening, you know, big, big timing window. Oh, but that was the dragoon. Whew, it almost I don't know. died. I think, I think strategically here, Ghost of Dark has a huge advantage. One thing is, oh, the, probe um, is still in the, main. the probe is still in the main. He confirms dragoon range, uh, and Oya G only saw like he saw that three zealot. Okay, Perfect. he's gonna go for three gate. Uh, I was gonna Not say, sure, Ghost yeah. of Dark, if he just expanded here, it would be the best possible choice because. He knows Oyaji, first of all, uh, spent money on the range, but also Oyaji saw three Zealots into one Dragoon, 
and can just assume it was like one gate, right? So it could have easily been Citadel, like you mentioned, Citadel before range or something like that. So I feel like Oyaji is 100% going to go for detection here. It's just too likely uh, that Protoss, or that Ghost of Dark could have went for something like DTs. And if he goes for robotics, I mean, uh, Ghost of Dark oh, could have just gotten an easy right? expansion. Yeah. yeah, but he has yeah. three gates instead. But, you know, I, I think... I think this is good for, for Oya, of course. The thing that I don't like about Ghost of Dark build, he keeps on making props, he's got almost 500 gas. So yeah. he didn't ex he didn't plan to go free gate because if he yeah. was planning to go free gates, he shouldn't have that much gas. He's also kind of pretending to make him this base. It's just a fake, I believe. But now Oya is overextending for sure. I mean, why is he making this shoes? Okay, actually, he's got way more good because this is four goods. There's a, no, this is actually a, sorry, it's Ghost of Dark build. Okay, so it was an overextension. Now these well, goons are on wrath. Here's the thing, like, Oya should know what's up because he's been on two gate this whole time and suddenly Ghost of Dark has more units than him. He needs to go. He needs to attack now. Is he expanding behind this? No. No, no, no. He's just going to attack. But, I mean, Oya's not committed to this low ground. He can just go back up. On... That's why this yeah. two gate just makes but no this sense. This is exactly what we talked about. In these positions, you don't have your high grounds. Yeah. You're well, just no, have but to like, fire I, on tell no, yeah, but Oya can just. Uh, does Oya really yeah. need to commit to this natural though? Because he's getting a robotics behind this. He could just wait for a reaver to come out, and he's gonna be safe. But it looks like instead Oya is gonna take this expansion anyway. I mean, Ghost Dark has three gate behind this. It should work, but he's taking such a bad fight against these two zealots. Uh, it was a terrible fight, and again, uh, uh, inconsistency in his build order, because getting so much gas, not being able maybe to even produce from all the three gateways. Adding a Nexus now means basically I have failed to outproduce you and now I will try to catch up in economy. But we know how good Oya is in making props. I mean, he's definitely in a higher props numbers now than Ghost of Dark just because yeah. of the build order he took. Uh, now the Robo is being added. I don't know, this is Observer is already out, but he's gonna see it. Again, the big timing was gonna be two River Shuttle. Yeah. That's gonna be when, when Oya will have this power spike. Two River with Shuttle. And now four gateways behind this. Well, it's going Ghost to be of Dark's, uh, yeah, Ghost of Dark's strategy is just falling apart. I mean, if there's one thing he should have instantly won against, it's what Oyaji is doing. Like he should have 100% been able to bust this expansion with this three gate, and because he failed to do so, now he's just incredibly far behind. Because even if Ghost of Dark gets his third base up, he still needs to build a robotics at some point. Still yeah. needs to get his own observers. Still needs to do. I mean, he has robotics now. Yeah, but, but I mean, supply-wise, yeah, it's just not looking good for Ghost of Dark. That being said, though, revolver, again, it's very defensive. So, I, though Oya, because again, like you mentioned earlier, Koget, uh, it's easier to attack from the twelve o'clock or from the the high ground side. So Oya, once he gets his shuttle out, like you said, with his reavers, he will be able to siege down this uh, this expansion. Yes, uh, correct. For for this kind of reverse sieges, I think this is a narrow path, right? From the bridge yeah. into the natural is quite narrow. Uh, so so we could see another game like game one, where um, uh, actually Oya overextends a bit, maybe um, in his defense. You know, he goes uh, into the third base and he's not really uh, committed to defending in one point. I yeah. don't know. Um, or that attack could fail for sake. I mean, it's a narrow path. You know, losing a shuttle. Sorry, I meant game two when you know when the storm actually got a shuttle. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I think that was that was the crucial moment there. Um, the observer sees everything, so it's uh, how Aya is going to react to this. Is the question. He doesn't know how late uh, Robo Bay was. I don't think it's super clear to him that it was free game because it was a poor. Well, I don't want to call it, but it was a no. I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, I think if you were just consistently consistently making uh, goods from two gates, you might you might have had. Uh, he, yeah, he probably thinks it's two gates. He's like, well, I stopped it pretty easily and I took my expansion. That's why he was attacking, right? Because I think yeah, he was so know. aggressive at some point, like, yeah, this is just two gate versus two gate. I will make sure it doesn't expand yet. Yeah. But then he's okay, there's so many units, this guy's pretty good. So he yeah. goes back to his regular stuff. And now with an observer, he's in all the same tech buildings. So he might assume that they're also on relatively equal tech terms. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to be muting between my talks because I have some luck. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, no, I, I, I totally agree with your analysis here. And it looks like Ghost of Dark, I think he might have a probe at mid-left, thinking about maybe taking a third base. Uh, meanwhile, though, Oyaji is massing gateways. It doesn't seem like... Uh, I kind of had a lapse. Does he have a shuttle yet, Oyaji? No, right? He's just going pure gateway, man. 
Oh, he does have a reaver somewhere. Okay, uh, is that the shuttle maybe in the middle of the map? Oh, there it is. Yeah, so he, he does have the reaver, but looking like he was trying to just harass, but instead he is going to take this expansion or he might also go for a push and, and, uh, and uh, expand behind it. But yeah, I mean, Ghost of Dark definitely in a bit of trouble here. Sorry, I think I have some noises here. I hope you can... Uh... No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. All right, all right. Um, I will. I will try to fix it. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, this is uh, this is very similar to what we've seen. Oh yeah, it's just a uh, bit more probes, uh, faster attack, faster upgrades. Everything is looking great for him. Uh, by the way, on harassment, I think these are difficult positions to harass because all yeah. the minerals are away from you, so you kind of need to go around yeah. to harass natural and main. Harassing main, you know, you have so much vision to react to it. But again, look at this. So I think it is a timing for Oya. He has got two reverse. I think it is good, but he needs to be clean with his play. I mean, uh, yeah. this is a narrow path. Um, you know, your unit can get blocked. Well, okay. he does have shuttle speed. So yeah. it's all about how good, you know, we've seen this, uh, yeah. if you watch any of the PVPs in ASL, this situation happens so often where someone's just sieging the other player and it's all shuttle reaver versus shuttle reaver micro uh, but it looks like a ghost dark not quite on top of his a lot of the goons get baited forward and they take a lot of damage the shuttle the shuttle goes oh, down no! another another time it's happening so now it's one reaver all these units are clamped here he can't progress oh any further he God, needs to go dude. back look at what supply. a throw. Okay. Equal, equal supply so for a moment there. I mean, again, Oyaji with a uh, better economy and upgrade, so it is okay, but he lost a reaver. It's now two reavers for uh, Ghost Dark. If he, again, decides to counterattack, I mean, he needs to be careful same way as Oya was. Um, not careful, I mean. Um, I don't think there is potential to counterattack. I think Ghost Dark should recognize, okay, I got time, exactly, get a third base. Yeah. Uh, or, I mean, is he going for a big, big attack now? Just uh, uh, yeah. anticipating that Oya is going to expand. And again, I think, look at uh, this Oya is overextending. It's just so hard because I feel like Ghost of Dark, um, just his fundamentals are lagging a bit. Behind. No matter what happens in these games, Free uh, Oya G somehow ends up with more econ, more supply. And even though Oya there literally lost his Ooh. shuttle and reaver for free, he's still ahead and he has so many units. He's literally containing Ghost of Dark on all fronts. When when someone spreads a contain out this thin, it should be easier for it should be pretty easy for the containee to just push out, right? You just choose one side and you overwhelm it. And especially on revolver, you can kind of ignore your ramp because the counterattack isn't good up the ramp. Looks like here comes a it's shuttle a drop. drop. Nope. He sees Ragoons, goes back. Well, he did force the probe pull, so that was pretty good. For sure. And uh, meantime, uh, Ghost Dark goes for a double Templar or Kai's build oh. to make uh, mind control and storm drop at the same time. He My God, Ghost Dark is so lucky, actually, yeah. because yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, it's a missed opportunity there for Oya. He should have known that the shuttle could have been intercepted there, and oh, Ghost Dark had no idea. Time. But <laughs> sorry, he canceled the second Templar or Kai's to get uh, two warping at the same time. Oh, the infamous Archons, Gypsy. The yeah. two Archons to change the it's title It's two of the Archons, game. man. Ghost Dark, two <laughs> Archons, man. That's like his Kamehameha and, move. And you know, and and if he's good with his reverts, this actually makes... What is Oya doing? I mean, you can't flank like this, right? No, you there's can't. No not way. up the ramp. Yeah. No, not having armies completely separated like this. I mean, there's so much land between these armies. So actually, this now, when he... What is there, oh, what is this shuttle? is bad, though. Like, if you're Ghost Dark, you don't want to be busting this way. You want to be taking your own high ground. I think because... it's okay, but he just needed a shuttle, right? He just, he just needed to yeah, but I mean, it's down. okay, but once... Like, look, he's, he's stuck mm. on the ramp, and now it's such a huge flank here from Oyaji oh, and... I mean, despite the fact that Ghost of Dark has it's such a good up. army, yeah, this is the oh. worst fight he could possibly take, man. Just... Reavers, they lag behind. I mean, this is looking really bad. There are so many girls and they are spread so wide that these Reavers will have no, no, you know, no flash damage, basically. It's adding more units. The Arcan is coming in, but the single Arcan is not going to be able to cut it. I don't know what the... Oh, there is a big drop in the main of Oya. Maybe he's trying to the oh, economy with Dark Templars. There's no Observer. And also, he's getting all of the units. If he can get uh, some. Wait, is he going to kill that Nexus? Also. And he's also dropping the third, by the way. He's dropping the third, yeah. too. Oh, Two my God. Dude, if he kills. Well, he has. Oh, oh my God. What's happening, dude? Is Oya going to lose this game? He's at such a huge supply oh, advantage. If, but if he, he went for the Robo, Nexus. if he went for the Robo, Oya wouldn't yeah. even be able to make that one observer. But of course, he didn't know. He wanted to go for the value here, making sure he gets the value. 
But I mean, I think this next is gonna fall because he needs to clean the free Dark Templar in his base. Yeah, and Oya doesn't know where to send his Observer. He just realized that if he sends the Observer to the third base, he's gonna right. lose his Robotics. So he has to save his Robotics first to keep making right. Observers. But now that gives so much time to that DT at the third base to kill the Nexus. I think it's done. Yeah. 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 The Nexus oh is done. Oh my god, dude. And you know, what is the big brain? Oh, oh the Storm! Oh, yeah. oh, the Serener! But Oya's gonna lose the shuttle? No, because Ghost of Dark's not oh, paying man. attention. He mid Oh, he could have just won the game right there, Ghost of Dark, I feel like. But Oya still, I mean, Oya has a decent supply lead still, so he can just wait for his natural or his main nexus to rebuild. I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, he's still in a good position, but uh, yeah, that was scary is, for a second. The problem is, Ghost of Dark, despite his rather low economy for the game, almost mined out his main and. I can't see any plans to actually establish a third base here. Meaning yeah. killing that Nexus, I mean, third base was good, but ultimately they are on equal terms when it comes down to economy. Um, and with uh, with Oya having just more army, yeah. um, Reavers also, I think, you know, it's it's important. Reavers get better, uh, smaller, you know, the fewer the units, the, the better. The yeah. Um, while in big numbers, it's strong. But look at that army from Ghost Dark. I mean, this is a horrible. Ghost Dark has to go Oya. now. Yeah, oh my Oya god, he's taking a back. terrible fight, oh. but I think he recognizes it because yeah, he's yeah. retreating. He's gonna lose some units, but it's not gonna be a new. No, don't go in here. There's storm also. No. Oh my, oh. yeah, dude, that was almost a bait. Yeah. I feel like yeah, Oya that was, was almost. Bait. Yeah, it's so much more. It's so much more though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, by principle, it wasn't so good. If, if Reavers were with Shadow there, then I mean, yeah. could have taken this, but not with uh, not with that amount of uh, units, unit advantage for. For Oyaji, what is the upgrade status? I mean, Oya has been upgrading consistently, so he's on uh, plus one. Okay, so this is uh, okay. Actually, armor upgrade for uh, for Oya. There, interesting. Well, um, yeah, the armor this is all right because uh, it's also yeah. cheaper uh, than the plus two. Yeah, and he doesn't even have uh, temporal archives, right? Or does he? Yeah. Uh, no, he does. He has an archon, so. No, no, but uh, uh, Oya. Yeah, Oya, Oya has, has a, yeah, yeah, he exactly. has archons. Yeah. Oh, look at that DP. No, cannons have been built, so... Uh, and there is that another shadow drop. I mean, I think it was spotted by a Dark Templar, maybe. Um, yeah. But it's still uh, very dangerous. I mean, army of uh, Ghost Dark is in one place right now. And, you know, the biggest, the best advantage for, uh, for Storm Drops is obviously to keep as few props as you can. <laughs> well, they are now arriving there. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, I think he smells blood now. He has got Reverse. He has got Archons. He's going to land some some big scarab hits here he's gonna take that one dragoon i'm surprised okay. the uh oh. okay he, he uh, misclicks he attacks misclicks. his own reaver yeah i'm surprised but the reavers don't actually this is a tough out. fight this is a tough fight i, w I don't know if i wouldn't go up the ramp i mean yeah. and again here it's uh with a couple zealots and an archon he may have enough time to just hold it before oh the main God. army arrives Again, this is a tough fight. The Reaver are going to This is insane to... from Oya. What kind of, is this going to work, actually? Yes, I mean, so it could units. work because the Reavers are actually doing some damage. Reavers from uh, Ghost of Dark are in the back. Uh, in the back. But look at this. The Archons are doing so much damage. The Reavers are... Dude, attacking. that was insane. Dude, Oya is going to just oh. throw away the game there, I'm pretty sure. This is like... Oh. I mean, the supplies are pretty even, but... The now Archons. Half his look at the Archons. The Archons are they just have insane. He's not so going to kill damage. that. He has to kill that Nexus. No, he's not gonna kill that Nexus. This Nexus is gonna stay. And what? everything died for Oya, and he's now down in supply. Equal basis. He has got a storm drop. Did he kill something? No, it's an empty shuttle. Dude, what? That was the. I've never. Dude, he just yeah. instantly pulled that trigger. He's like, yeah, I'm walking up here. Yeah, uh, I was but... saying, I wouldn't go that big ramp. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about going that little ramp. <laughs> yeah. Even out of oh, position, wow. though. I mean, the, I, truth be told, Ghost Dark was a bit out of position, and especially when yeah. that ramp is quite wide after you uh, clear the eggs. But yeah. I mean, that's such a YOLO, like insane play, uh, and it didn't work out. And I mean, I I think he threw the game there because he was he was really far ahead, and now oh look at this. This is also a tough position to attack. I mean, these guys are really like Nar Chokes here. Yeah. Uh, this is this is very hard to attack. But Reavers actually, they uh, easily fend off the army and give some space. For Ghost of Dark to engage here. I mean, there are no rivers, there are no storms, so obviously we really can do it. But now a lot of Zealots, a lot of Archons from there joining the fight, but it's really tricky. There's a storm. There's he has got 200 energy, so it's like yeah, two storms potential currently. I think they are trading pretty equally, but there's a river from Oya. If that it goes in a position, there's no way of pushing any further. Uh, well, Ghost of Dark needs to be careful. I mean, look at this again. Oya has somewhat recklessly actually caught up in supply even 
head in supply right now. Koget, I'm getting nerd chills right now. I'm getting the nerd chills, as Artosis would say, because this might be the one season Ghost of Dark makes it out of the round of 24, and it's in the group of death. Can you believe that? He's in, he's in a position. I mean, yeah. it looks like the game is evening out, but this is his like make or break situation here because for the past several seasons, Ghost of Dark has been in every single pro league, but he does fall a bit short in the early stages. And to make it out of the group stages in arguably the the hardest group right. uh, would just be like no one ex would have expected this. But I mean, he still has to grind this out here. And it looks like Oyaji, despite all that craziness, despite losing two Nexuses, despite just YOLOing his army into a ramp, uh, is still ahead in supply, which is surprising to me. Yeah, I mean, uh, if, if he makes it, definitely a day to celebrate in Peru. Uh, <laughs> I think his, uh, I think his, uh, he has an advantage. I mean, um, not sure about the upgrade. Um, well, maybe not advantage. Maybe it's again equal. But it seems like the way how he's approaching the fights is is, is better for him. So maybe he understands the map a little bit better. Um, maybe this is maybe this is the way how Oya plays. But it seems like every time. Goes to dark, falls behind in supply. Uh, he finds a way to have a good fight, a better fight, and he equalizes. And now, with you know, as the bigger the armies go, that risk is just becoming bigger and bigger. Because to be honest, at this stage, it's it's gonna be one big fight, and that's gonna be it. There's not gonna be like you know small skirmishes anymore. Oya seems to be looking for a fight. He's uh, rolling units up and down. He has got that supply advantage. Maybe some of that is still in probes. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, actually, well, they are mined out in the main base also. Uh, he's upgrading still. Yeah, I mean, is, is this the moment where they both go 200 to 100 because there is no opportunity to even attack? I mean, I think yeah. the only place you can threaten is probably the four base now. Well, we're getting into that territory of PvP where supply advantage isn't the most important. It's more so, you know, the upgrades, obviously, but also Ooh, position. Big storm drop. Ex Oh, he lands. Uh, that was pretty good. Well, also this uh, goons and then another storm oh! drop. So yeah, there was a third and another storm drop getting even more units. So this units were heavily damaged. He also uh, got a lot of probes. I mean, 10 probes, I mean, at least yeah. probably around 10 probes and also some damage of his goons. So a pretty good drop because again, uh, I think uh, gas is, well, of course, important, but uh, I think it's more important to, to trade off minerals uh, mm -hmm. in this situation. So, you know, to so get that overall army size uh, higher. Whoa, so six Archons, two Reavers. I feel like Gossador likes to go for these more techy armies. We've seen that also in the uh, PvZ versus Striker. He enjoys yeah. those high tech level units from um, from Prod as well. Oya is more, you know, more uh, gateway man. It seems like uh, you know, consistent yeah. uh, zealot goon guy. Uh, and of course, I think long term in PvP, this should favor Ghost Dark. There's another Shadow Drop. Is that just high tempo? No, that's actually Reaver. I like it. Two Reavers. Oh, yes. uh, excellent uh, positioning on those Scarabs, taking out two cannons with uh, two Scarabs. And now this base is basically gone. Is that a moment we've seen in game one when <laughs> Ghost of Dark just gets triggered and says, okay, you know what, uh, you've killed my economy, it's time to go. And then, yeah, how it's happening. Okay, very nice counterattack, but uh, the uh, don't have the same damage and power as two Reavers. Ooh, the situation is developing now. So the army of Oya is going back to defend the Zero Harassment while a ghost lord is going for the top line but there is a lot of army from oyaji i don't think there is a way to attack here he needs to pull back he's gonna lose that archon and maybe a zero uh oh the same trick as i did maybe no not trying to bait him inside uh so actually at the end of the day they have traded pretty equally i think no the four faces yeah i mean they definitely have it looks like oyaji did hold on to his mid right though so i think his harassment was a bit better than ghost to darks Another wave of Zealots, I like this. And also a Dark Templar. Ooh, two Reavers defending that base. Isn't that great? This is actually easily gonna clean all those Zealots, no problem. Yeah, I like how Oya clearly is playing a bit more defensively here, surprisingly enough, because you know we've been talking about how Oya is just so aggressive uh, all day, but finally pulling those Reavers back instead of harassing with them, just making sure his economy doesn't get disrupted. Of course, he has been reeling from that storm drop earlier, so probably now recognizing that he needs to just make sure he's still mining so he can still produce units. And overall, Ghost Dark is having such a hard time getting maxed. I mean, his economy is just... Wow, look at that army. Behind. That's an interesting army. Okay, he escorted the shuttle a little bit. 
Now there are, oh, there are a lot of cannons, also a high Templar. Player is constantly checking where the army is, trying to use the top line to see, you know, if the army is still defending. Nice car up shots for Archons also, getting rid of these cannons instantly. But I mean, whereas, oh, the Ghostwork is trying to go for the top line again, but again, this is such a narrow path. Even few units from Oya are able to hold this. Now he's bleeding units while losing his fourth base. So, oh, this is really bad. This is really bad for Ghostwork. Very well, actually, a storm in the middle of nowhere here. Good storms on the Ghostwork army, but so many Archons that they are pretty much resisting any amount of storm damage with their 350 shells. Yeah, it goes to dark. I mean, just not falling dark. apart. Not Nine attack. supply. Yeah, just kind of the dumps, man. And it was unfortunate. I mean, I feel like OIG was definitely building up a lead towards the end there, but they were at 100 supply, both of them, for a while. And at some point, it just turned into Oya getting maxed and Ghost of Dark struggling on 150 supply. So, and now after this attack, I mean, you can see OIG has a, a commanding lead. Oya is probably going to be able to take a fifth base behind this as well while defending everything and clearing the third base from Ghost of Dark. Storm goes off on a bunch of probes, but it's a little too, you know, it's too little too late here. Oya just with the extra base, with the fifth base, okay, DT might be able to stop this, but Ghost of Dark just doesn't have the supply, I feel like. What a hard game for Ghost of Dark, defending the two, zil two, two gate zillion aggression uh, very easily, going to that three gate where he definitely didn't find the damage he wanted to, but ultimately, transitioning into the equal game with storm drops all over the place and now we have a situation where he didn't he wasn't able to defend the fourth base uh tried to attack for top line again but basically got denied completely and now it's down 80 supply look at how many archons are there i mean this army is becoming mainly archons at this point and we know what yeah. it means well archons are the best unit i mean they're insane they're just gonna plow through everything, even get on top of the Dragoons. A couple of Reavers there from the early game. Ghost of Dark has managed to keep them alive. I feel like if he would have gone into a shuttle and used them kind of like how Oyaji was using them to harass the, the fourth base especially, maybe he could have gotten himself into a better position. But unfortunately, these two Reavers are just crawling around now, and the supply deficit is huge. Storm goes off, and now Ghost of Dark's army is just split. He was trying to go back again to the top, uh, but this, uh, his units this are all so much place. Protoss. This is so much Protoss. And I mean, again, as I was talking, I wouldn't go up that round, but I think it, it could be the moment with so many Archons, right? Uh, with so many Archons, the Storm Reaver, this could be the moment to actually go for the final blow. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, now actually remembering what happened last time, he's still a little bit conservative about yeah. this. And, and he doesn't know how much advantage he has, right? He knows to kill the fourth base, but he doesn't know if Ghost Dark is 100, 120, 140 supply. He knows he has an advantage. Now splitting the army into Oya, walking up the victor ramp here, completely smashing his opponent, you know, basically doubling, tripling almost the supply of, of, of uh, Ghost Dark, melting everything in blue, will secure this 2-1 victory.